The Earth is in a process of transformation in order to move in a higher frequency. Every planet goes through a transformation like this. It is the natural way of evolution. Everything in the universe is developing. Nothing stands still. The Earth frequency is increasing slowly. It is higher than decades before. That's why some of you have the feeling that time is passing by quicker. This gives you the opportunity to develop your consciousness even faster. Because there are more things happening in a short time and your thoughts are manifesting quicker. In this higher frequencies, nothing evil can exist. That's the reason why the dark earth controllers, which consist of earth humans and evil extraterrestrials, are doing everything to keep the earth frequency low. They are exploding atomic bombs on the ground and high in the sky to disturb the magnetic field of the earth. They are spreading the energy of war, hate, competition and idiocy through the media and creating fear by manipulating the economy. They have studied human behavior for hundreds of years and are using the primitive drives and desires of the masses to keep them ignorant and unaware. They are afraid that the population evolve and grow too much, so they even spread chemicals with planes to make the population ill. They are doing even more. They want total control of everything. But there is a power that is able to stop them. And this power is spiritual energy. The more people are using the spiritual power of real universal love, the easier it is to eliminate this threat. As long as you see the earth as divided countries, disliking each other and being in competition, you are making it very easy for the evil earth controllers. If you want to change a lower energy, you have to use a higher energy. In some cases, this will come automatically because the more the humans will suffer, the more they will start to look for new waves to overcome it. They will start to seek for the truth and the spiritual energy of their existence. So see it as a challenge and exercise for you to overcome the inner and outer negativity. Start to work on your inner healing and development. The higher frequencies, which are coming from the source of the light, are bringing all inner blockades and unhealed emotional patterns in the surface, so you can work on them and heal them. You can't go to higher dimensions with blocking energies, unsolved matters or hate and arrogance. Belligerent people with hate, arrogance, ego or greed can't stand these higher energies of love. They hate love, they hate people who are talking about love and insulting them. They hate everything that expresses love, like harmonious music, beautiful colors or nature. They hate especially people who are telling the truth because their masks are falling down. They have the option and chance to overcome their ego or stay negative and learn the lessons in their next lives. It is important to heal all character defects, heal all karmic issues and traumatic experiences from this or past lifetimes and get rid of negative programs of your society like competition thinking, ego, enviness, cults, false belief systems and hating people who are living on another part of the planet. This will make the way free to develop your spiritual awareness. With a higher consciousness, you will understand that everything is energy. Thoughts, feelings, objects, colors, music, form, everything. And everything is interconnected. The spiritual energy or God is consciousness, the existence, the creation, the source. And consciousness can appear in many forms, physical and non-physical, according to the level of frequency. Energy is the source of everything, and you can use this spiritual energy to create your reality. In fact, you are doing it already, but unconscious, and mixed with negative mind patterns like fear or hate. Can you imagine what would happen if enough people would use the cosmic energy, conscious, with the focus on universal love? It would rise your consciousness and would amplify your life quality. And when I say love, I don't mean the distorted love that you are using in your religions, cults or relationships. I mean the real, pure, universal love, the power of spiritual light. It will start to clean your body energy and change its subatomic structure. 
you will have the wish to keep your body clean in order to hold this high energy. You will have the wish of harmony and you will avoid aggressiveness or negative people. Aggressiveness, hate, fear or sadness is keeping your energy low. It is altering the molecular structure of the body, making the body weak and it's causing heart attacks, cancer, abscess, appendicitis, rheumatism and other diseases. So you will avoid evil people, stress, drugs or unhealthy food. Find the connection to the source back. Go often to nature to clean your body from negative energies. Diseases are coming from negative energies or suppressed unhealed emotions. Some are from karmic reasons and some are manufactured from the wicked world government. With a high frequency of cosmic love, you can transform all negative energies. With love energy, you are able to gain wisdom. With wisdom, you can erase negative karma. And you are a conscious creator of your life, because you are cooperating with the spiritual laws. Wisdom comes through the understanding and mastering of experiences out of all your lifetimes. This is rising your spiritual consciousness. Before you incarnated on earth, you have chosen certain lessons that you wanted to experience and master in order to grow spiritually and develop your soul. The benevolent humans from other planets will not disturb you in your education. You would never take this opportunity away from you to evolve. We are showing ways how you can make it by yourself. We have only the right to interfere if we incarnate on earth too. And this has been done by many people from hundreds of benevolent races. Mostly from us the Pleiadians, because we have a strong connection to Earth from the past. And because we have done this on other similar planets too, and therefore we are more experienced. In that way, we can speak with you directly and act as a magnet for the higher cosmic energies. We are light workers with many talents. We love art and everything that is harmonious. We have nothing to do with your earth organizations or cults. Some of us are coming from very high dimensions, where everything is pure light. Everything we do is in coordination with the laws of existence, karma and the right time to act. You should also know that there are different groups of Pleiadians. There are over 2000 planets in the Pleiadian star system and all of them are different developed on different dimensions. Some are part of the Galactic Federation and some not. Some can be on the same time here and in the future by dividing their consciousness and transferring it into two bodies. When you read information about Pleiadians, you should use your higher self to distinguish if they are coming from us or from male volunteer he's using our name to spread misinformation or simply from egoistic people who want to get attention. We do have contacts with you, but mostly in the astral plane when your rational ego mind is sleeping. With a higher consciousness, you will be able to feel if an information is true or not. You will not use the limited linear rational thinking. You will use a spherical thinking to see a topic from every level. You cannot achieve spiritual awareness with the intellectual mind only with a loving heart, free of belief systems, only when you cooperate with the existence and your higher self. By using your heart energy, you are making a precious contribution to the planet. Every act, thought or feeling is changing the course of the future. Because the future is not a fixed thing, your thoughts and emotions are changing the future in every second. So there are many possibilities for the future. There are no accidents in life. Everything that happens has a reason, even if you don't see the reason instantly.